Major developments after that shooting rampage in California. Tonight, investigators pouring through that manifesto and, of course, the gruesome discovery in the alleged gunman's apartment. More bodies after his shooting spree in the streets. A community still in shock tonight. Thousands gathering at a park, candles in hand, holding a tearful vigil for the dead and the injured. Friends leaning on each other. So many new victims. So many others witnessing the shooting spree itself lasting several minutes. And the slow and steady line of people this Sunday placing flowers at every stop along that route of terror. Tonight here, more on those chilling and eerie videos and on the police visit with the suspect well before all of this unfolded. We do have team coverage from the scene in California, and we begin here with ABC's Bozzy Kanani right there again for us tonight. Bozzy, good evening. Good evening, David. Tonight, the memorials in this college town are growing. Students bringing candles, flowers, pictures to the places where their classmates lost their lives as we're learning more about the victims and the deadly attack. The first images of the terrifying moments in this college town with a gunman on a rampage. Students seen ducking for cover in this surveillance video from the IV Deli Mart as bullets rip through the store's windows. He fired two shots in. It stopped for about two seconds before they just started raining through. Some of those shots killing 20-year-old Chris Michaels Martinez. Investigators say the deli was one of 10 places Friday night right next to the UC Santa Barbara campus where 22-year-old Elliot Roger hurt or killed people during his mad drive around town, hitting students like Nick Pasichuk, who tonight is still recovering. The first calls for help just before 9.30 p.m., but we now know it may have been many hours before that when police say Roger killed three men inside his own apartment, all stabbed repeatedly. Investigators say Roger then drove to the Alpha Phi sorority house, opening fire on young women in the area, killing two members of another sorority, Roger's next stop, that deli. I honestly thought that was my last moment. I thought I was going to die. Survivors say the suspect was smiling as he shot at them. Deputies chasing after him in his black BMW exchanged gunfire with him twice. The rampage ended with a crash. It would appear as though he took his own life. Found in Roger's car, three semi-automatic handguns. Nobody needs to own three semi-automatic handguns. The family of Chris Martinez speaking exclusively with ABC News today, sharing the photos and memorabilia from the life of their only child. They expressed sympathy for the families of all the victims, including, they say, the parents of Elliot Roger. Would that be hard for you to meet with the Rogers? No, actually. They loved their son, too. Tonight, of the 13 people injured, six are still in the hospital, two of them in serious condition. David? All right, Bazi Kanani leading us off.